moon babies it's molly how are you welcome to this midwinter art witching vlog so grab yourself a cuppa of something delicious and come on into the studio i just recently wrapped up a session of glisten a wintertide grimoire labyrinth and it was so delightful to be inspired by other art witches making winter magic all over the world and this is a grimoire folio that i created to house all my wintry spells and wintry art fodder the inspiration for this book was frosty leaves frozen on the surface of a pond Special delivery. Hello, Moon Babies. We are going to do an unboxing because this has arrived in the mail. And what this is, is a copy of my new book. I have to be honest with you. This arrived a few days ago <laughs> and I've been putting off opening it. One, because I wanted to be able to film it for you and share this with you. And two, I'm really, really nervous. <laughs> I'm so nervous to look at it. So I'm really glad that you're here with me and we can do it together. So let's do the dang thing. Let's open it up. They even wrapped it up all beautiful. Thank you, David and Charles. Little card. Hot off the press. Congratulations. <laughs> With love from the whole team at David and Charles. Much love to all of you. Thank you. My face is hot. <laughs> Here we go. Rainbow magic, 12 creative color quests for art witches. Oh, it's so vibrant. You can see there's a little glitter foil. Oh, this looks so fun. Oh, I'm so happy this worked out. The rainbow gradation of the pages. Let's take a little flip through. Contents. Welcome. Bless you. I had so much fun creating this book for you. I really wanted it to be different from what is currently available on Color Magic. Here we go. This is very surreal, Moon Babies. 
I was so, so happy that we were able to get the whole band together <laughs> to work on this. The same team as Art Magic. It was such a treat to work with them. This might be my favorite chapter in the entire book. <laughs> I know I shouldn't play favorites, but some subjects are close to the heart. I'm shaking. <laughs> Thank you so much to everybody. Thank you to the team at David and Charles for making this book real and believing in magic. Thank you to my patrons for making it possible for me to take on projects like this. Thank you to you for watching, for being here, for being interested in this work and making your own magic in the world. I feel like this book belongs to all of us. So I will follow up with some information about pre-order and release. I just feel really honored that we could do this together. Thanks for being here with me, Moon Baby. Delve deep into the mysterious realm of color and discover the Rainbow Mancer in you. <laughs> That's my book trailer voice. So Rainbow Magic will be available for pre-order March of 2024 and in all of your favorite places to buy books April of 2024. January is traditionally when I reset the studio. The space is physically and spiritually cleansed and I spend about a week on this project. Dirt needs to go, trash gets taken out, inventory is taken, scraps are busted, dead bugs are vacuumed up. Ew. <laughs> and this Organizing ritual is really the beginning of my midwinter celebrations. It fits right in with those midwinter inklings we have to feather our nests and cleanse and protect. I don't observe Imolk because it just doesn't make any sense where I live. There are no snowdrops or crocus coming up or little lambs. It's just gnarly here. <laughs> But I have been integrating a witchy version of Candlemas into my seasonal magic. Lots of you might already know that for the past several years, I've been on a folk magic quest inspired by my ancestry. And this has led to learning about Our Lady of the Thunder Candle as a figure associated with Candlemas. So I was inspired to create a few very special protective custom pieces for my patrons bearing the image of Our Lady of the Thunder Candle. Our Lady of the Thunder Candle protects against illness, misfortune, lightning storms, the bitter cold, and hungry wolves. So she is a very practical entity indeed.
it is my hope that perhaps just by watching this video, some of her protective glow might surround and comfort you wherever you are in the world, moon baby. February means many things. It means Imolk, Candlemas, Midwinter, Groundhog's Day, open season on Valentine's chocolate. Yes! <laughs> and it can be a fickle season for many of us. We may not experience spring in all of the aesthetic ways. We may not follow a strictly Celtic-inspired path. Or perhaps we just feel as gray as the weather outside our windows. <laughs> the winter blahs are real. But there are lots of creative ways that we can embrace the subtle magic of this in-between midwinter time. So let's take a look at a few manageable and fun art magic spells for celebrating February. Dabble in animal augury. Find an oracular rodent to share its secrets with you. If this proves difficult, you can create a spread in your grimoire featuring animals that live in your area. Flip a coin or a smooth stone onto the page and use whichever animal the stone lands on to compose a prophecy for the coming weeks. Use party streamers to create transparent candle shapes on your windows. These are a colorful, symbolic candle display for home protection and cozy atmosphere. Protect your abode from lightning strikes, wolf attack, malaise, hunger, and boring evil with perpetual clothespin candles. These candles are flameless, adorable, and versatile. Bless the candles with a poem, prayer, holy water, or a polite request to activate their BS deflecting powers. Make a brush shrine from a recycled can or jar. This time of year is strongly associated with fanning our creative spark. So decorate the outside of a container with images of renewal or your favorite deity crushes or influential and inspiring people. You might wish to toss a stone, herbal mixture, or magical sachet into the bottom of the container to empower or bless your art supplies. Then load up your shrine with your paint brushes, colored pencils, knitting needles, and other doom slaying tools. Combine color magic with the protective and cleansing qualities of salt. Dye some salt with food coloring to use in your art, charms, kitchen witchery, and spell work throughout the year. I really like to add a pinch of salt to my floor washes and broom powders for an extra rainbowy pick-me-up. You could make one hue or create an array of colors. Go forth gently and make stuff. Create for fun, create to heal, create for joy. I can't wait to see what you create this midwinter moon baby. I really hope that you enjoyed our time together in the studio today. I want to thank you for being here. Thank you for watching and subscribing. And thank you for being you. And until we speak again, moon babies, witch on, witch boldly, and be well. Bye for now. Thanks for watching.